Welcome Tech Brothers Dhamma. In this video, we are going to take a look at what are workspaces in Microsoft Fabric and how to organize the Fabric items. So in Microsoft Fabric, a workspace is a container for organizing and managing your analytics items such as lake houses, warehouses, notebooks, reports, pipelines and more. Workspaces help you to group related data assets together by project, department and use cases, making collaboration, security and governance easier. This short tutorial will cover what is the workspace, what are the key workspace features, how to organize items inside and real world use cases. So what is a workspace as we have already known that a workspace is a, like a folder or a project space in Microsoft Fabric. You can think of it as your analytics sandbox where you can build, store and manage related data assets. Each workspace includes access control, who can view, edit contents, link to capacity, define computer power. So we have to link our capacity, how much, which capacity will be used by the workspace. And we have different items in the workspace, so those will be used in the link capacity. Items like lake houses, warehouses, data flows, report, etc. So here is fabric workspace structure. You let's say you have workspace sale analytics, and then you have lakes, a lake house under it, and the lake house name could be sales lake house. Then that lake house will have tables and files. Then also you will have warehouse. Then you can have data flows, notebooks, reports, pipelines, and all that. So you can have different items and then you can put them in different folders and I will create this actually in just a second to show you all these and we will create each of them. All assets are here a part of the same project and share the same one lake namespace. Best practice to organize fabric items, use separate workspaces for major projects or departments such as HR analytics, marketing insights, product metrics. So it's a good idea to keep them separate. Prefix asset name for clarity, such as the data warehouse underscore sales, lake underscore marketing, notebook underscore transform orders. Use the descriptions and tags to document what each item does. So this is very helpful, like especially somebody come in and take a look what are these items and why you are using those. And especially when you are working in a team and different developer work on the same type of items. Control access with the roles. So you can create the roles and have a viewer, contributor and admin roles are there. So you can use them to give the permissions. Use a lake houses for a raw and curated zones where you will be using warehouses for the BI ready models. So let's take a look on the real time scenario or examples. So here we have a finance team that is building a budgeting report. They create a workspace called the finance underscore reporting and then they add these different items to it such as a lake house for the raw ledger data. Then they have a data flow gen 2 to clean transactions. Then they have a warehouse for structured table such as fact table and dimension. And they have Power BI report for the dashboard. This keeps everything centralized, secure and organized by purpose. So in the summary, a workspace is your core unit of organizing in the Microsoft Fabric. It brings together storage, compute and assets under a governed and collaborative umbrella. Use naming convention and separation of concerns to keep things clean and efficient. Now let's perform a demo and create our workspace called the Sale Analytics. I'm going to copy this one and then you have to go to the home here. And in the home you will see new workspace. Click on that button and then provide the name of the workspace. So and then we will provide description. This is my uh, sales workspace and uh, I am using as a demo and for the using for development. OK, when uh, we are putting these names, we can also search them later because once you have more items and all that and sometimes we would like to search for it. So you can use this search button here to search it and here you can add the domain to it if you like. Here I don't have a whole lot of domains going on, but in case you have domain, you can use the domain that you would like to attach to it. So we are good here. Also, you can load an image here and I'm fine. Uh, but uh, let me see if I can, uh, like, uh, let's say if I will say uh, this image, you know, 
So uh, this file is too big. So this is a key to uh, upload a smaller file. So you can do that if you want to. In my case, I'm fine. Uh, let's go to the advanced here and you can see that Tech Brothers, that's my user and uh, that's the owner. And uh, then uh, we have trial version. And uh, now you can see different things. Uh, you have a small semantic model storage format uh, and uh, there is a capacity that we have that is assigned to us uh, as uh, our uh, uh, free trial. Now in this case, uh, let's say if you would have uh, more capacities created, uh, you could have assigned the one you would like to assign. Uh, so now we will, we will talk about capacities, we will be creating those capacities and then assigning to different workspaces later on in this uh, tutorial. Uh, so apply this uh, and now your uh, workspace is uh, created. Uh, so you can see right here, this is your workspace. Uh, so here we are in our sales uh, analytics uh, workspace uh, and uh, this is my description uh, and I would like to create some more folders under it then uh, we can uh, manage those uh, different items under those folders. Uh. So if I will go to my uh, right here, this is my uh, uh, structure that I would like to create. Uh, so I'm going to call this one a uh, lake house. Uh. So if I go back here, you can either go from here as well once you click uh, on the workspace. So, so here is a sale analytics. Uh, and you click right there and you can now also have it right here if you want to navigate. But now you will go and create a new folder and I'm going to call this one lake house. All the lake house will go under this one. So maybe I will have multiple lake houses and then I will create them under this folder. Now if I will go ahead and go to my notebook again and I would like to create warehouses and those warehouses I will create under this folder. Now, if you see that uh, th this uh, data flows and all that, uh, these are just samples I will create under this folder in the next videos. Uh. Now, I'm going to take you to the uh, workspace again here and uh, then uh, we will uh, click right here in the quick access uh, and uh, then uh, we'll go from there and uh, here uh, I will add a new folder. So, you will be keep adding different folders uh, and uh, such as a new folder for uh, uh, data flows uh, and uh, then uh, you have uh, maybe creating uh, different uh, pipelines uh, you will say pipelines uh, and then uh, you will say create a new folder for your uh, reports uh. so this is how you will be creating a uh, different uh, folders uh, under the uh, workspace uh, so you have workspace here and then uh, these uh, uh, folders are there and uh, then uh, we can go further in uh, and create different uh, items under it uh, so let's say if i want to create a lake house i will click on the lake house uh, so you can see right there so now i have uh, a workspace here and lake house folder here and now I can create subfolders or I can go ahead and say new item and in the new item I can select the lake house so if I will select the lake house here it's going to ask me hey what is the name of the lake house so let's call this one uh, sales lake house so we will talk about more about uh, what are the lake houses and all those different definitions and everything that I'm going to show you so here uh, now you have uh, your lake house is uh, created uh, under that uh, uh, workspace uh, so you have sales uh, analytics uh, and uh, right here you have uh, this is uh, C sales uh, analytics uh, under that you have a uh, lake house folder and uh, under that uh, you have a uh, sales lake house uh, that has a semantic model created uh, already and also it has a SQL uh, analytics uh, endpoint uh, so this uh, 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 SQL anal analytics point endpoint you can use uh, to query uh, the uh, files and all that by uh, by using the SQL queries uh, and uh, then uh, you have uh, uh, here uh, if you go back to the tables you have files and we will be uh, uploading some raw files here and then we will be creating delta tables in the next videos. Uh. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I will see you guys uh, in next video.